Welcome to Click. I'm Spencer Kelly. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Networking has always been a great way to get ahead in life, and of course the web makes it even easier to meet people for friendship, love, or just blind ambition. Or well, this week, we're going to show you how to make friends and influence people online. From pop bands peddling their latest singles to media barons investing vast amounts of cash, we'll find out why the social networking scene is big news on the net right now. We'll also meet the man many believe to be the father of social networking sites. Plus the latest technology news, and I say hello. To find out who this is and what she's doing with him, stick around for Webscape, which is coming up later. The web has always been a great place to meet people. And in fact, if you're a fully paid up member of Generation Web 2.0, well, you can meet like-minded souls, share interests, or even get invited to party with the social elite. To find out how, Mark Chislak got networking. In 2003, a site was launched on the net that changed everything. A site so popular and influential, it launches the careers of pop stars. A site perceived to be so valuable that Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation paid a whopping $580 million for it. That site was, of course, MySpace. The inclusion of music on MySpace has been one of the biggest reasons for the site's success. Unknown artists have demonstrated that social networking sites can be an effective means of promoting themselves. Artists like Lily Allen and the Arctic Monkeys have used MySpace as a springboard to success. While most social networking sites don't discriminate and allow anybody to log on, a few sites have cropped up who have a very particular sort of user in mind. Invitation-only site, A Small World, aims to appeal to a select group of users. They regularly organise offline parties so their well-heeled members can meet and network face-to-face. -face. I was inspired to set up A Small World by the realisation of the fact that there is an existing community of well-connected people around the world. I call it the three million people connected three degrees. The common notion is that there's six billion people connected six degrees. So an existing community always looking for trusted information. Where do they get that information? They get it from each other. The target members for a small world are people who are successful, interesting, and uh, are successful in different uh, disciplines and are interesting for each other. What keeps a small world exclusive is that it's a closed community and only certain people can invite. While a small world is concerned with successful, well-traveled users, beautiful people's entry criteria are slightly simpler. Beautiful people is like an elite online club where every member works the door. Essentially, you put up a picture and a profile and you're rated over a 72-hour period or three days by existing members of the opposite sex on whether or not they deem you attractive enough. It's not just as you'd expect a dating site. It's become a site where people will help each other find apartments, help each other with work. They have sensational parties. There's a party every single night, every single night around the world there's always a beautiful people party of these people getting together and enjoying themselves. We'll leave the beautiful people and the small worlders partying into the night. Mark Chislak on the social networking craze. Well it certainly sounds like it's going to become enormous. At the moment of course it's only massive. 